Welcome back for another video on some solutions to a mock exam for the upcoming chapters 1 and 2 test. In this video we're talking about numbers 11 and number 12 uh, of the mock exam. So the instructions for the remaining questions answer every part of all questions fully. Partial credit is only awarded for correct work leading towards your solution. Each part of each question is worth four points. So I remember that there were 10 true false, each worth 20, uh, two points, so it does 20 points. That's 20% of the whole exam. Each of these questions is worth 4% of the exam. Um, saying what, what these instructions are saying is if you don't show your work and you just provide an answer, if that answer is wrong, you will get no credit. So you'll be zero out of four straight away. Showing your work gives you partial credit. So you could get one out of four points, two out of four points, three out of four points. You could almost you could you could pass the test by getting everything wrong <laughs> if you showed your work. Right? So I'm gonna show all the steps here and we're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna do it that way. That way you can see how much you would have to write uh, in order to get complete complete credit so here we go um, 27 is 3 cubed so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start multiplying these sorry factoring these things out um, X is on top and X is on bottom so we're gonna do this the, the we're gonna use the rule that you can subtract these exponents 7 minus 1 Okay, and then y to the eighth over y squared, we're going to use the rule that we can subtract these exponents, like this. We did quite a lot of this back in the day when we were trying to you know, simplify these fractions and eliminate negatives. Remember, you can bring things into the, into the denominators. Um, there we go. Remember, you can bring things into the denominators. Um, and into the numerators, factors like this, just by subtracting exponents back and forth. Okay, so this is still under a third root. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do in the next one, this this is this this is y to the sixth, and this is x to the sixth. First thing I'm going to do here is actually rewrite this radical. has the power of one third. So we've got the third root of some stuff. That's the same as that stuff to the one third power. Okay. Next, what do we have? Well, this is a product and a quotient of, of three different things. We've got a product of three cubed and y to the sixth. And we've got a quotient of that over x to the sixth. There's a rule for powers which says you can distribute powers over products and over quotients. So this is 3 cubed to the 1 third times y to the 6th to the 1 third over x to the 6th to the 1 third. Okay, then there's an, another rule, and this is the last step of this whole problem, is that when you've got a an exponential like this, 3 cubed, y to the 6th, those are polynomials, of y, x to the 6th, when you've got these things raised to powers, you can multiply the powers together. So this is 3 to the 3 times 1 third, which of course is 1. So that's 3 to the 1st times y to the sixth times one third, which is two. This is y squared. And then the denominator, we have x to the sixth times one third, which is two again. Okay, so this is the correct solution with every single step. 
So even if this was wrong, this would still be three out of four, for sure. Maybe even full credit. <laughs> this is a pretty grievous mistake to say something like five randomly out of nowhere. So just show your work. That's all I gotta say, show your work. Number 12, factor completely. Z cubed minus 2z squared minus 3z. Okay, so I see that all of these have a factor of z. There's no constant term here. They all have a factor of z. So I'm going to pull that out first. z times z squared minus 2z minus 3. Okay, I see that quadratic factors as well. We've got 1 times 3. That gives us 3. Uh, but we have a negative sign there. So it's going to be either a minus 1 times 3 or a 1 times a negative 3. And that's the one we're going to use. 1 times negative 3. Because negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So this factors to z minus 3z plus 1. And here we could show our work if we wanted to. Uh, we could, sorry, we could uh, not show our work. We could go back and check our work. So we'd get z squared. So that's the firsts. The outers is z, so z squared plus z. The inners, minus 3z. And then the lasts, 3, negative 3 times 1. That's negative 3. So we would get z squared minus 3z plus z, so that's minus 2z overall, minus 3 and that gives us the correct one. So we, we've checked our work here. On the computer, it's easier for me to go back and delete that work now. This is our final solution, which, which we've checked for accuracy. Okay, so that's it for questions 11 and 12. Uh, I'm gonna come back with another video here shortly, going through the next problems.